people are afraid to be different Most people just follow the crowd Most people do what most people do Humans are tribal animals Which leads us to have a deep need To belong to some sort of group Most people spend their lives doing what most people do Most people laugh at me to conform to whatever is the cultural norm Even if that norm is something bad Maybe one day humans can transform into beings who can perform Without feeling a desire to conform Most people spend their lives doing What most people do Your genetics and your life experiences Make you either conform or not conform In various situations throughout life whether you were a conformist or a non-conformist You were a being who was worthy of respect and love Let us all come together and be one Most people spend their lives doing what most To conform or not to conform? That is the question, that is the question. Who answers that question for you? Your brain answers that question for you. I love it when your brain chooses not to conform to the terrible norms, the terrible norms. But if you do conform to bad norms, guess what? I still love you, everyone. If you're an activist and want to change societal norms Do lots of activism, go and find the early adopters Do lots of activism, spread your message far and wide Do lots of activism, go and find the early adopters If you're an activist and want to change societal norms Do lots of activism, go and find the early adopters Do lots of activism, spread your message far and wide Do lots of activism, go and find the early adopters I hope no one finds this video insulting. I didn't mean to insult anyone with this. We vegans, we see people eating animals and we wonder, why are they doing that? It's bad for their health, bad for the animals, bad for the planet. You know, it's, it's horrible all around. So why do people do that? Well, I ate animals for 27 years and it's because I grew up with a family where everyone ate animals and I saw my friends eating animals, so I did too, I conformed. But then I learned about what's happening to the animals. I read a book called Old MacDonald's Factory Farm in 1998 and fortunately, I was okay with being a, an early adopter of veganism, and I love it. You know, if you don't want to go vegan, it's not your fault because free will is an illusion and we're all simply products of our genetics and life experiences. But if you can, you know, at least try Meatless Monday and, and build from there and see how nutritious and delicious vegan foods can be. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be vegan too. And if you're an activist, if you just focus on friends and family members and you get frustrated because they don't want to go vegan, well, don't let that stop you from promoting veganism because you can have lots of success with strangers by wearing things with vegan messages on them and handing out leaflets about veganism, making vegan videos. I can reach thousands of people with a vegan message and find the other early adopters. And once we have a large number of vegans, then veganism will really start to steamroll and the whole world will be vegan. So keep doing activism, keep planting those vegan seeds and 
you know, don't beat yourself up if you're not vegan. Hopefully you'll be vegan one day because it's a really awesome life being vegan. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. I love you.